Ben Juan, Jonathan, Ricky, the Dragon Steamboat here, and I want to congratulate you guys. This is the third season of the Wrestle Rock podcast, and you are watching WRP. So guess what? I'm in the middle right here at the Dragon's Den, and I want to give you the grand tour. So maybe there's some bits and pieces of the Dragon's Den tour that you guys can use. How about that? All right, let's start over here. Ben Juan and Jonathan, I've been inducted into three Wrestling Hall of Fames. The Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame from the NWA. DCW, now that's a small independent wrestling company. And then right here, 2009, I was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. I'm going to run by the class. Here's Howard Finkel, Dory and Terry Funk, the Funk Brothers. You remember Coco Beware? Cowboy Bill Watts, the man in the back with the hat, and then, of course, Stone Cold Steve Austin, myself, and then Kevin Von Eric from the Von Eric Wrestling Family. Let's step down to this corner. I call this my Mid-Atlantic Memories. Now, back in the day, there were territories all around the country. The Mid-Atlantic region was North, South Carolina, and Virginia. And why is this uh, area so special to me is because that's where I got my main event start. I started in the business in 1975, and about a year and a half later, 1977, I got a main event push. And it's responsible to a guy that I'll get to in a little bit. But you see some photographs here. I'm holding some regional titles. This one's the United States Heavyweight Championship, which then brings us to this picture. The other guy is Harley Race, and he was the world champion. So being the United States champion, it made me the number one contender. This picture was taken in Raleigh, North Carolina, 1979, and it's also special because back in the day, I don't know if you guys know, but back in the day, the main events had 60-minute time limits, one hour. Well, in this match, with the world champion Harley Race, I wrestled him to a draw. One solid hour with the world champ. My very first one hour. I always want to give a mention here, Jay Youngblood. We were the NWA World Tag Team Champions on five different occasions. Great tag team partner. Moving over here, I mean, the bookshelf here, as you'll see, there's a lot of Ricky Steamboat memorabilia, a bunch of wrestling dolls. I want to show you a pair of my dragon boots with airbrush dragons on the side. They're red. These happen to be my favorite, but you know, over the years, I had a number of boots, but the red ones were my favorite. Got some LJN original, the first dolls that came out of pro wrestlers. And I want to show you something here. They made a stretchy of Ricky Steamboat. That's right. Still in the box. So, I want to also show you this quick picture here. You know, I got the Steamboat name from a guy named Eddie Graham. He was a promoter down in Florida. This is is Sam's steamboat. He was good friends with Eddie. Sam had since retired in the early 70s. I went to Florida in 1976, and Eddie Graham gave me the steamboat name and called me Ricky Steamboat. He said, I'm gonna start advertising you as his nephew. No family relation, but that's how I got the steamboat name. Okay. Let's move down to this corner here. You're gonna see some cartoon caricatures of me. All done by different artists. This one down here is really special. It says, Best Wishes from Phil Ortiz. Now, he's one of the artists that drew for the Simpson TV show. We were at a convention doing autographs, and he came over and handed it to me. He said he was a big-time Dragon fan. And so I got a Simpson look-alike Ricky Stebo caricature there. Nature Boy Ric Flair. 16 times he was the world champion. Woo! I mentioned earlier, I got my main event start in the Mid-Atlantic region. Well, he was the number one heel for Crockett Promotions in that area. He was the one that went to Jim Crockett, the promoter, and said, you know, I want to try something with this new kid that you just had come in. Just come in, and he's responsible for getting me into the main events. Nature Boy, Ric Flair. All right, guys, you'll see a bunch of trophies here. I did participate in some bodybuilding back in the day. And I did it while I was still wrestling on that crazy, crazy diet of trying to get cut up. But I'm going to show you a picture here. 
On the one side is me, the other guy, Superfly Jimmy Snuka. That's right, we were competing at the WBBG Southern States, North and South Carolina Heavyweight Championship. The judges brought the two of us out to do a side by side because the points were so close. But at the end of the evening, they gave me the first place trophy and I beat Jimmy Snuka narrowly by just two points. Moving along, I always have to pay homage to this guy, Macho Man Randy Savage in the classic match that he and I had at WrestleMania 3. This is a seat back from the Silver Dome. They had since demoed the building, but they start selling those seat backs for souvenirs. I got a plaque here that says that it's a, 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 an original Pontiac Silver Dome seat back. I got seat number three to represent WrestleMania 3. I want to give you a shot of what the evening looked like with 93,000 fans. And then I got a very rare photo here. This one right here. That was taken on the night of WrestleMania 3. It shows me giving Macho Man a big double chop. What's so special? This is the only one that I know of that's got my autograph on one side and Macho Man on the other. Very cool. Over here, you see some more pictures of Steve Austin, Bobby Backlund, Lex Luger. China here giving a shot here to a very young rock. Jake the Snake giving me a clothesline. Into the 90s with WCW, with Turner's organization. Sting, number one guy for the company. Mickey Rourke gave me an autograph picture when he made the movie The, uh, the Wrestler. Shane Douglas, we were the WCW World Tag Team Champions, and of course a picture of me and Roddy Piper, who uh, left us way too early. What a great guy. And guys, I got one more I want to show you up there. That's the great one, Muhammad Ali. That was taken backstage Madison Square Garden at the very first WrestleMania where Vince McMahon brought him in to be a special guest for the show. What a night, Madison Square Garden. I want to show you my WWE Hall of Fame ring. And then right here, my NWA Hall of Fame ring. And then, of course, the gold here. That's the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. The championship that Macho Man and I fought for at WrestleMania 3. Well, Benoit Jonathan, I hope you enjoyed the Tour of the Dragons then. Hope to make this podcast a very special one for your third season. And uh, most of all, for you two guys, I want to thank you for being wrestling fans all these years and remembering the dragon. Yep. So, hope you enjoyed it.